Michael Strahan of GMA cracks up the hosts after admitting he cried when he couldn't get Taylor Swift tickets. Ticketmaster was under fire in November after many Swifties were unable to get tickets for the era's tour. The Senate organized a hearing against the Ticketing Corporation on Tuesday in order to safeguard fans from exorbitant costs and bots in the queue. Rachel Scott, ABC's senior congressional correspondent, joined GMA to cover the hearing. Democrats and Republicans have come together to say Taylor Swift isn't the issue, she remarked. Instead, criticizing Ticketmaster and its parent business, Live Nation, for numerous outages and hours-long wait periods that left many fans without tickets for the singer's impending tour. After speaking with some senators, GMA played a video of a Swifty crying in a TikTok video because she had waited for six hours and was unable to obtain tickets. Using Swift's lyrics as evidence, senators chastised Ticketmaster CEO for failing to address the issue long before the fiasco. When the video ended, Michael confessed that he understood how those fans felt. When I didn't get my tickets, I felt like that young lady, he remarked. Did you feel that way? Robin Roberts inquired. Michael revealed to George Stephanopoulos that he held it within. All okay, Robin responded. That's right, Michael said, laughing. He was most likely looking for tickets for his twin daughters, Isabella and Sophia, who are 18 years old. The case remains open, as senators are allowing Ticketmaster and others to follow up on questions they couldn't provide answers for. Senator Klobuchar said that this was just the first step when it came to improving the ticket industry. This is SWIFTIE's trying. On November 15, millions of fans entered the virtual queues to try and see Taylor on tour. The singer's last tour was the Reputation Stadium Tour in 2018. She has since put out four albums and two re-recordings. Even though it was only the sale for verified fans, millions of other fans entered along with a ton of bots, slowing down the website and making tickets sell out quickly. By the time the verified fans, most of whom were boosted by Taylor's team, Taylor Nation, got in to buy tickets, the tickets were either completely gone or selling for more than $300 for the upper sections. Ticketmaster had set a limit of six tickets per verified fan, card for the sale, but bots got in and bought more. The next day, the Capital One presale went the same way, with upset fans giving their blood, sweat, and tears to try to get tickets, but they had no luck once again. The unprecedented demand made the anti-hero singer add more shows to the already planned stadium dates. Taylor and her team released a statement and made a plan to get more tickets into the hands of Swifties. Taylor stated that she has brought many areas of her work in-house to prevent such issues, and it was difficult to trust an outside company. The 33-year-old further stated that she was repeatedly promised that Ticketmaster could handle the demand. She promised additional chances to bring more fans to shows, and she delivered. Some fans who were authenticated, boosted, and did not acquire tickets during the epic war of a Prezail earned a second chance to purchase them in December. Each tour date had registration days when fans may submit a ticket request. They were required to choose a price range for the show that was assigned to them. Swifties waited a day or two to find out via email if they received two tickets. Taylor kicks of her era's tour in March in Glendale, Arizona, and will lurch toward several other major U.S. cities through August. International dates have yet to be announced.